It is very important to be precise with our definitions when we study culture. Of course, the more precise our definitions are, the better our communication will be in every aspect of our lives. However, it is more important in cultural study for a number of reasons. The first reason is that different cultures often use similar words with different meanings. A simple example of this is meal. In Japanese, the word meal is often gohan, but gohan also means rice. In English, we can't say rice when we mean meal. There are cultural reasons for the word gohan, but if these reasons are not understood, some Japanese students believe that Westerners, for example, eat bread with most meals. Westerners do not eat bread as much or in the same way as Japanese people eat rice. So this example shows us the importance of being aware of cultural differences even with the same word. The second reason that being precise is important is that each person has their own meaning of words. A word has three levels of meaning. The first level is the dictionary level. We share that meaning. That is to say that every person who uses that word agrees with this dictionary meaning. The second level is the encyclopedia level. This is a deeper level of meaning. At this level, we can see the use of the word the history of the idea, and other aspects of the word. If you think of a Wikipedia entry of a word, and compare that with a dictionary entry of the same word, you will see that the encyclopedia entry is longer and has many more connections with other ideas. As you will know, different encyclopedias are different in the way that they explain an idea of a word. But generally, most people agree with the contents of an encyclopedia entry. The final level is the personal level. Our unique lives have given us special connections and associations with words and ideas. It is clear that our own meanings for words must be similar to other people's meanings, but at the same time, our meanings are different. The point for now is to realise that we act on our personal meanings, not on the dictionary or the encyclopedia meanings. These other levels are important, but all we actually know is our own personal level of meaning. The study of culture is, in many ways, about practising to realise our own personal meanings. If we do not realise that we bring our personal meaning to our communication, we cannot understand either a foreign culture or our own culture very well. Another way of saying this is that when we study culture, we look out of ourselves and our own culture, and we use that to look back inside ourselves and to understand ourselves more deeply. This is why we must aim to be precise, to be accurate, to be as clear as possible with our meanings.